Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here and we are going to start the first of our RetroPie series and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to quickly and easily set up a Wi-Fi connection with your RetroPie. Um, I'm using a, a Raspberry Pi 3. It might be a little bit different on other versions of Raspberry Pi if you don't have like a built-in Wi-Fi uh, adapter. Um, you would have to use your own USB Wi-Fi stick or USB Wi-Fi module. But in this video, I'm just going to show you really quickly and easily, once you have your RetroPie image installed, how to connect to Wi-Fi, and then on top of that, how to enable SSH. And SSH will allow you to connect to your Pi remotely from your desktop using PuTTY, and uh, along with another one that I use for transferring games and files and things like that. And that way, uh, for some of the future videos, when I use SSH and PuTTY, and I'm messing around with the terminal window, you'll be able to reference this if you don't have Wi-Fi and SSH already set up. So once you boot into RetroPie for the first time, you won't have any of these, you know, Super Nintendo, Atari, or consoles because you won't have probably any games on there yet, uh, depending on what image you install. But you're just going to head over to RetroPie and select. You will need a keyboard plugged in. I'm using my joystick and buttons because that's the way I've got it set up, but you'll just essentially use the arrow keys on your keyboard and then I believe enter is how you select. So um, if you head down to the bottom, there's a section that says Wi-Fi and just go ahead and select that. It'll take you to this window and it just the first option is connect to Wi-Fi network. So select okay. And then it will display various Wi-Fi networks and I'm already connected to mine, but again, for example, if you were to want to connect to something like this one, you would type in your password using your keyboard and choose OK, and then it would connect to your Wi-Fi that way. So I'm just going to cancel and escape because I'm already connected. Also, since we're here to show you, it's really easy. It's also just right here. If you go up, if you you will need your IP address um, for your Raspberry Pi once it's connected to the network to be able to use your SSH on the computer side. So again, all you do is go over to RetroPie where we just were and click Show IP, and that will display your Pi's IP address, which mine's 192.168.0.25, and that's what you'll use when you're on your network to connect to that. Okay, so the last thing is to set up the SSH or enable it because it is by default not enabled when you install RetroPie. For that, we're just gonna go over to the same little section here, but we're gonna head to Raspi Config and select. Then we're gonna look for interfacing options, which it looks like it's number five and select again. Well, on my net, go to the right and hit select. If we go down to P2, it says SSH, so we'll select that. And it says, would you like the SSH server to be enabled? Just go ahead and select yes. SSH server is enabled, okay. And finish, it'll take you back. It might reboot, nope, take you back here. And you have now enabled SSH, so we'll be able to connect to our Raspberry Pi wirelessly and you won't have to plug in a keyboard to the extra Raspberry Pi. You can just use your desktop, laptop, or whatever else is connected to your um, your Wi-Fi network. So that will be very useful for future videos and uh, it's also just very useful to have set up if you're wondering why SSH is not uh, available or why it's not working. It's because by default it is disabled. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace guys.